Hello there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Marion Golda. I am a civil engineer. I didn't know this, honestly, for the five years, there is so much I didn't know about engineering. First of all, even before I joined the course, I have, I can say I, 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 when I was in high school, I wanted to be an engineer, yes, but I really didn't know what it was about. I was just like, I want to be an engineer. It just sounded good. <laughs> I want to be an engineer, but then I wanted to be an electrical engineer. Like even like at, at home, sometimes you'd find, you know, if something was wrong with the TV, it was me fixing it. So I think it grew in me and I told myself I want to become an electrical engineer. So when I get to uh, choosing my courses now, I chose both electrical engineering and civil because my father told me uh, civil is better. <laughs> and in civil you have like better opportunities, but okay. That is a story for another day if I was disappointed or he was right anyway. Um, I went with civil engineering and I can remember the first uh, day I, I, I joined the orientation program I was like am I in the right class should, should I go to electrical because I still had the option of course of going to electrical engineering class but I st stuck with civil and short story I came to I came to enjoy it later so okay let's go back to our topic what you're not told when you join engineering school trust me there is a chance that there is so much that you're not told and that is why you need someone who is um, a few years ahead of you or in the industry already you need someone who you can consult you can ask questions so that you can be able to know you know what am i getting myself into <laughs> so for me the shock is how hard it is to to like establish yourself as an engineer because all I thought is all you need is that five years in, in in school, but then when you finish the five years, you'll be shocked that you needed you actually needed eight years, because uh, you will need three years work experience before you can even earn the title engineer. So you are informed. <laughs> if you didn't know that, you are informed it's eight years my people it's five years school three years work experience that's when you get your license a minimum of eight years it's not that not everyone gets it at eight but it's a minimum of eight years engineering training stay informed subscribe thank you for watching